Hi, hi everybody, this is Dwayne with Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. I'm gonna try the one cast. I've got a loop in my line, let me get that out. That'll mess up when I cast. Today is Wednesday, March the 15th. It's opening day of snagging season. A bunch of guys were out on Table Rock up in the James River Arm at midnight. Trying to take advantage of that. Uh, it's cold out again today. I'm killing time while I'm reeling my no, no, line no, no, no. up. <laughs> just saying those guys are crazy. Uh, not much wind today, just a little bit of a breeze, a little bit of chop down there on the lake. Um, I don't see the flag up there flying at all. Maybe it's wrapped around the pole or something. Kind of a little bit of cloud cover. They ran a bunch of water this morning. Well, three units maybe. Yeah, at least. And uh, didn't shut it off until a little bit after noon. Things are starting to settle down a little bit now. And uh, people down here are catching them on the bottom with power bait. Yeah, that is a big boat. So I covered the date, I covered the water, temperature. I think we're ready to try this. I'm fishing that pink power worm about eight feet underneath the float. Let's see if they're a little deeper. It's tough to cast that much line under a float without a long rod. That's why I use this nine footer. And it's easier to maintain line control with it too. What I mean by line control, right now the wind is blowing my line up the lake. If I lift that line out of the water and drop it back down and reel up the slack, if I get a bite now, I can make contact with the fish. All that wave action should be giving my jig a lot of enticing flavor. And here we have a pontoon boat that is making a wake between the dock and the no wake buoy. <laughs> if anybody didn't know, that is a no-no. We're not blurring out their faces either. <laughs> <laughs> I think the boat said trout hollow. Well, I know, it's, it's not trout hollow. <laughs> no, it's not their fault at all. It's clueless. <laughs> well, <laughs> now they're speeding up. Maybe they thought they weren't making a wake. Ryan got a bite like right here. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. I don't know if you guys all saw it or not, but we had our first guest produced one cast yesterday also. That was kind of fun to see. And we're hoping some other people will do that. If you do want to make your own one cast, we just ask that you record it on your own phone, post it on your Facebook page, and then tag Lily's Landing Resort Marina so everybody can see it and have fun with it. He actually sent us the file and I I edited, produced it, whatever. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. She could do that too, but usually that file is too big to... Yeah, it's a little tough to send that whole file. He caught the fish so quick. It was a pretty small file. <laughs> He had, I talked to him in the morning. He was struggling in the morning and didn't catch very many fish. And Their whole group, yeah. Explained the power worm to them, and they just really had a good afternoon yesterday. But that school of fish that was hanging out in front of the dock, I think, has moved upstream. Well, they ran that water real hard. I'm yeah, sure they, they moved someplace. They could be downstream then, too. But not very many of them rising out here today like they were yesterday. That's why I'm fishing this a little bit deeper.
It might even be on the bottom right there. It's gonna be warm enough to fish tomorrow. What's it supposed to get up to tomorrow? Um, 50s. Oh, that'd be nice. It's supposed to be 40s today, but they light again. <laughs> I don't think the weatherman himself would consider it lying. Well, it's a pretty strong <laughs> word. But. That's the one cast for today. No bites, no fish. We'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.